Hey, what's up, guys? Trevor here again for another video. Welcome. Um, sorry for the autofocus. Goddamn it, camera. Mm, there we go. <laughs> um, as you see for the title, we got a uh, new package. And we'll be opening it up. It is my new AIO cooler. Just got it in the mail from Best Buy. Was well, gonna buy it on Amazon, but I'd rather as well do it at Best Buy because faster. Blacked out all my information. Cannot find my regular knife. So we're just gonna use a quick packaging knife thing, razor blade. Open it up. There we go, HADI V2, nice and glossy because we got our protective layer still on it. Cut that off, grab a knife again. So, we are now in our box, or we have our box. Let's grill the packaging really. Um, Corsair, Corsair HADI V2, I'm probably going to be replacing these fans right here with the two LED uh, fans that I have already because they are static pressure, meaning they are for radiators, which is perfect. Um, everything looks good. It had this water block right here on the right side for you guys. Yep. Um, it changes color as you can see right here. Uh, the H80, just like the other Corsair series coolers, um, comes with Corsair Link. And with Corsair Link, you get to customize your cooling stuff, such as your pump speed, stuff like that. I'm not too smart when it comes to this because I haven't used it yet myself but I'm probably going to turn it up anyways because I'm going to be overclocking with this folds right open I have of course their power supply the box opens exactly the same instructions that are somewhat important that I'm probably going to not need but we're going to use them anyways at some point just to double check yay my favorite foam uh, here are the fans that come with it you know not too exciting they're just computer fans Whatever, probably won't even use them. Here is the radiator itself. Oh, okay. okay, everything's already tied together. I don't need to pull or anything. It's already assembled. Cool. Here is our pump with our CPU head and reservoir. Not reservoir, there's no reservoir, it's just radiator. Here's our mounts for different types. I'm going to be using the AMD mount because I have an AMD CPU. And I have the brackets and wire extenders and stuff like that. Okay. So, boxes are needed, obviously. Everything is loud. To get this plastic off now. Now it's in two things. Oh wow, the hose is actually pretty thick. Uh, CPU, or, or sorry, the cold plate, which is the copper part of there, already has some compound on it. I'm not going to take this plastic off on the top until I obviously put it in my computer. And here is our assembly. Hooray! So we already have two wires. Uh, come on, focus camera. Uh, okay, there we go. So this one's going to plug into our fan slot, and the other one's going to... Oh yeah, no, this is the splen... The splen? This is the fan place this is where the fans get plugged in on this. Uh, this is where this plugs into the CPU slot on my motherboard. And let's get this going, I guess. So, just looking over this, the radiator looks really nice. Fins are really thin. Reading pretty good. Good for 100 bucks. That's what I paid for it. Yeah, no, that's what I paid for. Okay. Um, pretty good. As you can see, you can see where the LED is going to be in this. Around the sides. Obviously, radiator has nothing special about it other than it's a radiator. Um, fan mounts on either side are those holes in the corners. So, like I said, let's get started with the actual installation of it. So, the fun part. The installation for this is quite simple. I didn't need to read any of the instructions except for the mounting bracket because my AMD mounting bracket was different from the Intel one, so the pump actually comes with the Intel mounting bracket pre-installed on it. You just have to quickly remove that if you're using an AMD build as well. Um, the only other issue I had was the bracket underneath my motherboard in which the cooler's new bracket mounted to was a little annoying to stay still. I cut out the part where I was struggling with it other than the first two screws that I put in. But any other issues I had had to do with uh, my top mounted fan, my case, was actually 
there wasn't enough clearance for it because the radiator and the two fans that were on it were actually taking up so much space that it was long enough to actually start messing up the other fan like it wasn't closing the case properly so I cut it out but I did remove that fan um, even though I did remove that fan I'm still getting just as great cooling throughout my case it's still going through a push type cooling that's all I had really to say those were the only issues I had during the build like I said pretty straightforward I'll talk to you at the end of the video to show you what I got on my overclocks so I hope you guys do enjoy the build, and again, talk to you in the video.